It's July 22nd, 2013 at the Ocotillo Wind Project. It's, uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, Monday morning. The project is starting to come back on the line. Uh, for the last uh, few weeks we've seen up to 20 wind turbines turning, 20 various different wind turbines. Uh, this morning the winds are being reported at one mile per hour, so uh, consequently uh, there's not too many wind turbines moving right now, maybe a total of six of them with uh, maximum wind speeds at five miles per hour throughout the night. So uh, not too much going on with uh, the wind turbines uh, as the sun comes up here in Ocotillo. Um, we had a storm come through yesterday. It was about a one hour storm. It hit the uh, south side of the project pretty good. Um, I think it dumped about an inch of rain in, a, in, in about one hour time. So uh, we'll swing around there in a little bit. This is looking out to the, uh, the east. This is, of course, wind turbine 156 that threw the blade. Uh, they continue to work on the wind turbines out here. They have a repair procedure that they're doing to the blades on various wind turbines. We were told that some wind turbines are going to receive new blades and others they're going to get this repair that they, uh, they have been doing. Um, the repair we have witnessed uh, looks like a, a series of holes that gets drilled near the root of the blade and somehow is bonded or bolted uh, uh, to the root segment of the blade. This, is usually, this has been happening throughout the night. They've been working at night on this. Uh, and uh, this morning I seen approximately six to eight different uh, locations where they uh, apparently uh, could have been doing this uh, blade repair. I didn't really go out and look at it, but uh, I could see the, uh, the, the work lights uh, on it. Uh, six to eight different uh, towers. Um, I don't know how many towers are are going to receive this repair and uh, versus uh, the new blades. So anyway, this is looking out to the west, and there has been some wind turbines spinning out to the west. Although this morning I don't see any turning out there at all. This is looking over towards the SDG&E switchyard. There was some wind turbines starting to uh, come back online over there. Oh, there's one I can see spinning right there over by the, the freeway. So, uh, not much going on here on the uh, phase one side of the project. Uh, on phase two, or the south side of Interstate 8, is where the, uh, the storm hit yesterday. It... Uh, get my bearing here there uh, these wind turbines over here this area is a pretty steep downhill area and the water from the storm hit in that area pretty good and used the access roads I feel to uh, divert the water in a, a river um, it seemed uh, down that hill rather than uh, its natural uh, distribution across the uh, desert uh, alluvial fan and it, uh, it came down the hill there uh, in a river fashion and uh, flooded out Highway 98 uh, pretty bad uh, to the point where the traffic had to be stopped and the road had to be cleared. On July 22nd, 2013 at the Ocotillo Wind Project, approximately six wind turbines turning out of 112 as the sun comes up in Ocotillo. Stay tuned.